welcome to the introduction to e-commerce and uh, this course is brought to you by Filipino home-based moms and my name is Regine and I am your mommy trainer for this course so before we start um, I just want to say that um, this course is not your ordinary course no so uh, this is for those who want to learn um, e-commerce um, how to be an e-commerce virtual assistant and for those who want to understand um, the, e the e-commerce industry no? so if you wanted to start a, your own online business this course is for you and if you want to start um, to become a virtual assistant for an e-commerce business this is for you as well okay so ayan tungkol sa akin ano so my name is Regine Pamular Bolaños and I'm from Alfonso Cavite and I'm 26 years old and a wife to go and mother to Ria. So this is our family picture. Ayan. And then um, before I am a real estate agent. Okay, so before bago po ako um, mag nagkaroon ng asawa at anak, isa po akong um, real estate agent um, and I'm working sa I work sa uh, Manila, okay? And then doon po nagbenta ako ng mga condominiums, ng, ng house and lot. Okay, and then I also work as a sales consultant sa, sa isang um, store sa Taguig, sa BGC. So, in short, parang sales lady. Okay, so before kasi when I lived in Manila, I used to travel from Caloocan, North Caloocan, diba? And then, uh, ang work ko is Taguig. So, every day I, um, I traveled for around 3 to 4 hours pupunta pa lang, and then pa-uwi is ganun din, ano. So, very nakakapagod, very hassle yung naging um, situation ko before na nag-work ako sa Manila. Okay, so, and then, nagkaroon ako ng baby. Okay, nagkaroon ako ng sarili kong pamilya, and then, um, ayun, nag-stay nag ako doon sa, nag-stay kami dito sa um, family ko. Okay, nakitira kami, nakikisama. Okay, and then, after one year, nag-decide na kami bumukod pa to start our own um, our own life as, um, as a family talaga, you know? So, and I have this, my own hashtags na Sam to Mom Adventure. So, Sam means stay at home mom to work at home mom adventures. Okay, so, and ito na, ito na yung mga naging work ko na nag-home uh, base na ako. Kaya na nung, when I started work at home na. So, I was the first virtual assistant of H FH Moms. Okay, so if you are a uh, member of FH Moms since nag-start ito, okay, so maaring kilala nyo na ako. And then, um, after that, uh, nagkaroon na rin ako ng mga clients ko. I used to work as a web researcher, and then, ayan, sunod-sunod na, data entry and lead generation, hanggang sa naging Amazon virtual assistant ako, as a wholesale account manager, and then, sa isa pang client, as a product sourcer as well, and then, um, as a digital marketer, okay, unti-unti ko natutunan yung marketing side, and then, social media manager, vid video animator, okay, so nag-animate ako ng video before, and I'm a Shopify VA, nag-web design din ako, and I designed a website for an e-commerce um, business. Parang yung client is, um, meron siyang sariling printing, no, I mean parang arts, no, na binabenta niya online. And then I created a website for her. And then, right now, I'm working as a content marketing manager and a general virtual assistant. And meron din ako isang pang client as an Instagram manager. And now, I also manage an Shopify store, which is the, the FH Moms online store. No? So, it's a local e-commerce, okay? So, ayan. Um, ano nga ba yung e-commerce? Ano? What is e-commerce? Bakit, bakit ba siya parang in demand ngayon, no? So, e-commerce kasi is, um, ito yung buying and selling of goods and services in, on the internet or a commercial trade activities carried out by electronic methods. So, in short, this is any transactions uh, online, okay? So, basta may money involved through online, that is e-commerce. Okay, so if, 
if you have experience buying sa Lazada, diba, sa Shopee, okay, and you also try to sell online sa Facebook, okay, Facebook Marketplace. So, it's e-commerce na, okay. So, kung na-try nyo magbenta sa Instagram, that's e-commerce. Okay, if you try to create your own Facebook page para magbenta ng mga products na meron kayo, that's e-commerce. No, so, very in-demand si e-commerce ngayon. And kung nababalitaan nyo din, okay, so kung may nababasa kayo mga articles na ilan na din sa mga um, retail stores, okay, sa mga malls na nagsasarabik, that is because of e-commerce. No, I, I don't blame e-commerce naman, pero kasi parang uh, napapag-iwanan na sila. Kasi e-commerce is um, in demand na ngayon, okay? Everything is online now, okay? So, ayan. And what is e-commerce VA? Ano naman yung e-commerce virtual assistant? So, an e-commerce VA is a remote, remote worker who does a variety of tasks related to e-commerce business. So, anything na ginagawa mo for an e-commerce uh, e-commerce business, you're an e-commerce virtual assistant na, okay? So, meron tayong iba't ibang um, mga task na ginagawa as an e-commerce virtual assistant. Okay, so, una dyan yung product sourcing or um, dito papasok yung product research, negotiating deals, and securing samples. Okay, so, parang ito kasi yung pinakasimula, okay, ng isang e-commerce business. So, paghahanap ng products na ibibenta mo. Okay, so, if you try to sell online na, diba, um, dyan ka, dyan ka nag-iisip, nag-brainstorm ka na, ano ba yung ibibenta ko online? Okay, so, dyan papasok yung isang task ng e-commerce VA, so, as product sourcing, um, iba-ibang te- term yan, actually. Okay, so, and then, another one is, as a con- sa content writing naman, dyan papasok yung, um, product listings, the email marketing, web content, and blogs. Okay, so, although some of these tasks naman is um, meron talagang mga expert para dyan. For example, this email marketing. So, meron talagang email marketing specialist na gumagawa para sa mga email marketing um, automations, ba? So, isang common na ginagawa ng isang e-commerce VA is, ay itong product listings. So, sa product listings, dito mo um i, i dito mo isus, i, parang bibigyan mo ng definite na no ng description yung products ano kumbaga sa sa mall parang dito mo ilalabas kung paano maibebenta yung product okay para kang sa sales talk paano may susulat yung um descriptions na para maging catchy doon sa makakabasa doon sa mga customers na makakakita ng product mo sa store okay so, and then, yung iba pa is yung web content, especially kung um, nagtayo ka na ng isang website or yung client mo is meron na sariling website like sa Shopify or dito sa um, ibang um, e-commerce platforms, ano. So, dyan papasok yung mga pagkikreate ng web content like about us, natad, like um, iba pang um, content doon sa website, ano. And then, yung blogs. And para magkaroon din na sariling content yung website ng client mo. Okay? And then, the third one is about fulfillment. So, mga fulfillment task na yan. Diyan, ito naman yung um, pagpaprocess ng orders. And then, ayan, katulad ng nito, meron tayong task katulad ng inventory management, um, order processing, and tracking shipments. Okay? So, dito monitor mo yung um, inventories, Okay, kung pap- yung pagpaprocess ng orders and pagtatrack ng shipments papunta doon sa um, customers nyo. Okay, and then the, the fourth one is yung customer service. Although the, cost- the customer service kasi meron talagang mga specialist para dito. So, all, um, hindi naman lahat is um, nagiging task talaga to ng isang e-commerce VA. Okay, although this one it can be part of your task, yung customer service, Papasok dyan ng email and chat support, responding to reviews, follow-up, and phone support. Okay? So, uh, meron tayong um, skills and qualities of an e-commerce VA. Although all of these qualities or skills naman can be um, sa kahit anong larangan naman ano, sa industriya ng online world. No? Sa pagkikaw ng free freelance. Okay? So, Meron tayong, um, ito, communication skills, 
And the technical skills, although yung technical technical skills naman hindi naman talaga kailangan eh, lahat ay alam mo. Kasi meron talagang um, mga apps and tools na specific for e-commerce. And depende pa kung anong klase e-commerce business meron si client. Okay? As long as you can, um, kaya mo mag-computer, okay? You can, um, you can use the Google apps, the Microsoft, okay? The basic ones na mga applications and tools na ginagamit natin. Okay? And then, of course, initiative, resourceful, flexible, confident, analytical thinker, well-organized or systemized, fast learner, motivated, and proactive. So, hindi ko na pa isa-isahin. Ano. Alright. So, who can take this course? So, sabi ko nga kanina, this is not your ordinary course. Okay? This course is for aspiring e-commerce virtual assistant and for those who want to start their business through e-commerce. Okay, so basically this course is for e-commerce virtual assistant talaga. But um, dito kasi as long as hang, hangbang tumatagal tayo sa course na ito, uh, marirealize mo na you can also start your own e-commerce business. Okay? So, ayan, about the course, let's check the course outline. So, this is our um, the training objectives. Okay, at the end of the training, the learner should be able to, number one, is to explain what e-commerce is and its advantages. Number two, uh, identify the task of an e-commerce virtual assistant. Number three, differentiate the types of e-commerce fulfillment. Number four, discuss the selling methods used by Amazon, Shopify, and eBay. Number five, Use some commonly used apps or tools for Amazon product research. And the last one is to create a Shopify store for dropshipping, to import products from AliExpress using Uberlo, and create product descriptions and fulfill a sample order successfully. Okay? So, here are our um, course outline. Ano? So, so, the part one would be, um, the orientation, expect expectation setting, and introduction. Okay, so dyan papasok yung topics natin about the e-commerce. Okay, yung mga overview e-commerce, the types of e-commerce, the advantages, and the common task of an e-commerce virtual assistant. Okay, and then number two is about the e-commerce fulfillment and the marketplace and platform. So, sa so e-commerce fulfillment, dyan po kasi papasok yung dropshipping, third party, and the self-fulfillment. Okay, so, kailangan natin ma-differentiate ano-ano ba itong mga e-commerce fulfillment na to, ano? And then, yung e-commerce marketplaces and their examples, and the e-commerce platforms and their examples. So, malalaman nyo ano po bang difference nila. Okay, and we will have our short quiz on our part 2 um, topics. Okay, and then, sa part natin is all about Amazon. Okay? So, um, una yung introduction, of course, introduction to, to Amazon, and then yung iba't-ibang seller terminologies, um, and then yung selling strategies sa Amazon, the difference between the FBA and FBM, apps and tools, okay, the apps and common apps and tools na ginagamit sa Amazon, and the private label, what is, anong tungkol dito, ano meron dito sa private labeling, and then the product sourcing on Alibaba, and then, the wholesale and arbitrage, product listing, calculating profit, and reviews and feedback. Okay? And then, sa part 4 naman natin, it's all about Shopify naman. Um, so, of course, the overview of Shopify. And then, ways to sell. And then, setting up the store. Okay? So, um, dito po, ituturo natin kung paano po mag-create ng isang Shopify store. Okay, and then, yung dropshipping. And under the dropshipping is yung sourcing products on AliExpress, choosing suppliers, importing products using Uberlo, and then product listing. And then, the last one would be other sites and or dropshippers to source products. Okay, and then, the part 5 of our um, course is about eBay, although this will be a short one lang. And so, it's all about um, the overview of the eBay, the silent format, ways to sell, apps and tools, and then listing that sell, or in short, yung product listing then. Okay? 
And then, sa part 6, yung other task of an e-commerce VA. And then, magkakaroon po tayo ng gamification sa part 7. And then, on part 8, magkakaroon din po ng Zoom meeting for Q&A. Okay? Or mga question and answer portion natin. So, if you have um, questions na kailangan natin sagutin, so magkakaroon po tayo ng Zoom meeting para dyan. Okay? And then, the part 9 would be assignments and activities. So, magkakaroon po tayo ng dalawang um, activities that would be um, Amazon Product Research Report and Shopify Store Creation. This one, yung Amazon Product Research Re Report, uh, would be parang um, portfolio nyo na since um, mag magkakaroon kayo ng um, may experience na maghanap ng products, okay, specifically for private labeling, ano. So, yung report na ito is magagamit nyo as your portfolio if ever mag-apply kayo as an Amazon virtual assistant. Okay, and then, so, la so last part natin would be apprenticeship. Okay, so, meron tayo yung um, partner na um, local business, okay, so, pwede po, pwede po, po kayong, um, bigyan ng chance na maging apprentice nila. And then, meron din tayong dito sa ating um, online store, which is the FH Maps online store. So, may experience nyo po yung um, pag-create ng product descriptions. Okay? Okay. So, about the schedule and flow of the training. Um, daily po ang ating training except weekend. So, Monday to Friday ang ating um, training. Okay, and then, topic for the day videos or videos will be posted every day around 10 a.m. to um, 12 o'clock sa tahal. Okay, so, and then, these videos will be uploaded on exclusive Facebook group and we will use the units feature of the Facebook group. Okay, so magkakaroon pa tayo ng exclusive Facebook group for the students. And then, yung units feature nito is gagamitin natin para um, maging organized yung mga videos natin. Okay, and then, there will be questions thread. So, you can post your questions about the topic. Okay, and then, the questions will be answered during the Zoom meeting. Okay, so, if you have questions, you can post or you can comment your questions there. And then, once na magkaroon tayo ng Zoom meeting, isa-isahin po natin sasagutin ang mga questions nyo. Okay, and then a Zoom meeting will be scheduled depending on the availability of the majority of the class. And usually naman, it's around 9 p.m. Okay? And then you can watch the video anytime. And watch to Sawa. So, lifetime access to our training videos. So, if ever after the training and then nagkaroon ka na ng client and then you need to you know, to go back for the for the lessons na kailangan nyo, uh, pwede nyong balikan yung mga, yung mga videos natin doon, okay? And then, what you'll get after the training? Okay, so meron tayong um, lifetime access with the training videos, of course. And then, lifetime consultation as long as the questions are related to the course. Okay, if meron kayong hindi maintindihan dito sa ating topics, pwede nyo naman akong um, tanungin, okay? So, meron tayong training certificates and bali dalawa ito. So, meron tayong certificate of attendance and certificate of completion. For the attendance, um, ito yung mga ibibigay ko doon sa lahat ng, uh, basically sa lahat ng nag-enroll talaga sa course. Ano? And then, um, certificate of completion, if ever na natapos nyo yung activities and or yung mga assignments, okay? so meron kayong certificate of completion. Okay, and then, you can get access to the FH Moms Online University Facebook group and group chat. So, may exclusive group po tayo for the students. And dito po sa group na ito or sa group chat na ito is aming um, pinopost yung mga, mga job opportunities if ever um, dito sa, para sa mga students, ano, para ma-prioritize kayo. Okay, and then, ito nga, get prioritized with local and international job opportunities. So, dito po sa mga spa students ko sa e-commerce, uh, meron na po akong mga nare-refer na students dito sa ating local um, partner. Okay, so once na nag-apprentice sila is na ha-hire din sila if ever na nagustuhan nila yung um, performance. Okay, and then, and, and this one, the last one is ito nga, yung apprenticeship. 
Okay, so since we have this um, online store, so kailangan talaga ng tulong ano for this online store. So since you're under the e-commerce um, course naman, magkakaroon kayo ng chance na mag-contribute para sa store na to. Okay? So how to enroll? Okay? Uh, you just need to go to bit.alwayslashfhmobsadvcourses. So, ito po yung ating parang um, site, okay? Makikita nyo po dito yung um, about the trainers, about the course, the course outline, okay? And then, yung form to sign up, okay? And then, read the course outline and training objectives, and then, sign up on the form. So, yung pong form na yun, nandito po sa, sa site na ito, okay? And then, once you signed up na dito sa form natin, uh, just wait for an email with the screening form and please, please, please answer it. Okay, so please complete all of the required fields on this form. Okay, and then wait for the trainer's, trainer's email about the result of this screening. If you pass, you'll receive a confirmation email with the official enrollment form. So, you just need to wait for the trainer's email kung pasado po kayo or nasa waiting list kayo dito sa ating screening. Okay? So, kailangan ma-check nyo yung spam or promotions folder ng dito sa email nyo kasi minsan doon po napupunta. Hindi na po napapansin. So, you just need to check your spam and promotions folder. And if ever you pass, um, you will receive a confirmation email with the official enrollment form. And then, pay the course fee and then take a picture of it and then fill out the official enrollment form and then attach the proof of payment on this form. And then, the trainer will send you an email to acknowledge your payment and to give you more instructions about the class. Okay, so once na nakapag-enroll na po kayo, mag email po ako sa inyo uh, ng, iba, ng, mga, ng more details pa ano, about uh, our course. So, about dun sa ating exclusive Facebook group, about dun sa mga, uh, mga susunod na process para sa course natin, okay? Sa training natin. So, thank you so much, guys. And... I hope to see you soon on our e-commerce training course. Bye!